we had to swim out and it was cold and it was over my head so yeah it was it's scary we've got folks now that we can't get to they've got water in their homes and they're trapped and we just can't get to them because the water the water is so swift been a fireman almost 27 years and this is the worst i've ever seen have people unaccounted for probably 95 percent of the people in this area here has lost everything houses cars animals it's it's heartbreaking it really is Uh, thank you all for uh, meeting us out here. I want to first thank the National Guard and their pilots today for taking uh, both myself uh, and FEMA officials, including the top FEMA official, Administrator uh, Chris Welt, uh, over uh, parts of Perry County, ultimately over Breathitt County, through Jackson and back. The Administrator has a flight to catch in Lexington. Uh, Going to ask her to go first, but again, grateful that less than a day or right about a day after this hit, uh, the top FEMA official is here and is here to help. Governor, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us out here today. Uh, we did just have um, a really uh, good opportunity to get a firsthand look at some of the uh, damage and the devastation that these communities have experienced as a result of these floods. Um, we saw many homes that are still inundated, that the water has not receded. I um, mean, we also saw homes, I think, that are going to have access issues for some time. Um, just because the roads are out and bridges are out. And so we know that there is definitely some significant impact to the communities that we just flew over, but we're going to work really closely with the governor's team to document what we saw today um, and add additional assistance um, as warranted based on what we just saw in this, in this flight. And as I said earlier this morning, um, you know, we have urban search and rescue teams that are already on the ground. We actually saw some some uh, helicopters flying around still looking to see if there's any rescues that need to be done and we'll continue governor to be able to support any of your life-saving needs as well as the recovery um, from this really tragic event in eastern kentucky so as governor um we've seen i've seen a lot uh i've certainly done three plus uh, flights and or tours uh, over flooded areas. This is by far the worst. Uh, Perry County, a number of mudslides, roads that are uh, impassable, and while we didn't get all the way into hazard, a number of homes that uh, are, are nearly total. Jackson, the area around it, and Breathitt County, devastated. Uh, much of the city itself underwater. Uh, hundreds of homes, uh, their ball fields, their parks, uh, businesses, um, under more water than I think any of us have ever seen uh, in that area. Absolutely impassable in, in uh, numerous spots. So just uh, devastating. Good news is that I saw no fewer than six helicopters out there actively making saves looking for people, calling to boat crews. We have people still working so hard and that are so skilled to get people to, to safety. Uh, they were just in the area we were in, uh, a number of them, and that is a good sign uh, that we are marshalling the resources that we need. Uh, we are uh, starting to receive more information of more deaths. We do not have an official update at this time as they have to be verified by DPH. Um, I have received notice that uh, they've located the bodies of those four children uh, mentioned in the Herald Leader story today, and I know we'll be contacting their parents. It means we've got at least six dead children, and uh, that's hard. It's even harder for those families and those communities, so keep praying. There's still a lot of people out there, still a lot of people unaccounted for. We're going to do our best to find them all.